Hello, friends, and welcome to Fuquay Verena United Methodist Church. To ensure you experience the entirety of our drive through event, please listen carefully to the following instructions. This drive through experience includes various stations spaced out around our church campus. Each station has an accompanying track and narration. You will find signs indicating when and which track you should play. So please keep an eye out for these markers at each station. Each track will end with a reflective question, followed by some instrumental music. You are welcome to take as much time as you like to reflect before continuing to the next station. If you are not already there, please proceed and pull up to the first station. Today you will experience the final week of Jesus' life through the words of Scripture. We will journey from his final meal at the Last Supper to his crucifixion on the cross. But we all know that this isn't the end of the story. We know what comes Sunday. We are an Easter people, after all. But to really begin to grasp what this story is all about, it's important for us to sense and feel some of what the disciples and the other of Jesus' followers were up against. Our story begins in Jerusalem after Jesus' triumphal entry into the Holy City. He and his disciples prepare to partake in the Passover meal. Hear now the word of the Lord from the Gospels of Matthew, Luke, and John. Then came the day of unleavened bread, on which the Passover lamb had to be sacrificed. So Jesus sent Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare the Passover meal for us, that we may eat it. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God, and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with a the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who has bathed does not need to wash, except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you, for he knew who was to betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, had put on his robe, and had returned to the table, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example, that you also should do as I have done to you. Very truly I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. When the hour came, he took his place at the table, and the apostles with him. He said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I tell you that from now on I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Then he took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And he did the same with a cup after supper, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. But see, the one who betrays me is with me. 
and his hand is on the table. For the Son of Man is going as it has been determined, but woe to that one by whom he is betrayed. Then they began to ask one another which one of them it could be who would do this. Then Jesus said to them, You will all become deserters because of me this night. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. Peter said to him, Though all become deserters because of you, I will never desert you. Jesus said to him, Truly I tell you, this very night before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even though I must die with you, I will not deny you. And so said all the disciples. Jesus' washing of his disciples' feet is the ultimate image of humility and a servant leadership. The creator of all things bent down on his knees to clean your feet and mine. In what ways can you be a servant leader in your family, workplace, school, or community?